of yours today i'm going to solve question number 27 and 31 of 0780 physics 1 cameroon gc june 2020 session pull up attentively as i solve these two problems from the start to the end i'll be back in a minute welcome back question number 27 says a physics student places an object 6.0 cm from a converging lens of focal length 9.0 cm. What is the magnitude of the magnification of the image produced? A 0 0.6, B 18, C 2.0, and D 3.0. Let's get the solution. Okay, let's read it again and take down the information that is important. A physics student places an object 6.0 cm from a converging length. Let's say U is the distance of that object from a converging lens so we have 6.0 cm of focal length 9.0 cm the focal length for a converging lens is positive so we have f is equal to plus 9.0 cm what is the magnitude of the magnification of the image produced? First of all, let's write the formula for magnification. Magnification is equal to the image that we call V, image distance over the object distance. We can equally say that the magnification is equal to the image height over the object height. But here we have given, we have been given the object distance from the lens so we prefer to use this formula now in this formula we see that we know u but we do not know v so we have to calculate for v now uh, we know that from the lens equation it says that 1 over f is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v this means that this means that 1 over V is equal to 1 over F minus 1 over U. Now, let's substitute for F and U. We have 1 over plus 9.0 minus 1 over 6.0. Now, the LCM of 9 and 6 is 18. So, we have 18. We have uh, 18 divided by 9. We have 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Minus. We have 18 divided by 6 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. So here we have minus 1 over 18. Now uh, let's take the reciprocal of these two. 1 over v and 1 over 18. This will give us for v equal to minus 18 cm. 18 cm. So, what is the meaning of this minus sign? This minus sign, it tells us that the image is virtual, virtual image. That is the meaning of the minus sign. It tells us that the image is virtual. Now, we can calculate our magnification. Using the formula we wrote above, magnification is equal to the image distance from the lens, which is negative 18 
divided by 6.0. This will give us minus 3.0. There is no unit because CM will cancel with CM. So we have no unit for this. What is the meaning of this negative sign? This negative sign tells us that the image is uh, upright. The image is upright and that uh, the object is magnified three times. So this is a magnitude of the magnification. So the magnitude, magnitude of the magnification is 3.0 hence our correct answer is D so D is our correct answer D is our correct answer Now let's continue with question number 31. Question number 31. The question says, a small vibrating object on the surface of a ripple tank produces waves of frequency 20 hertz and speed 60 cm per second. If the source S is moving to the right, as shown in figure 6, with a speed of 20 cm per second, what frequency would an observer at point C here? Okay, this is the figure okay, illustrating everything that has been set here, our situation in the ripple tank. This is the source, S, and the observer is at point C. So this source is moving to the right, is moving towards C. Now, let's take down the important information as we read again. A small vibrating object on the surface of a ripple tank produces waves of frequency. 20 hertz and speed 60 cm per second. Now we have frequency of the wave. Frequency is equal to 20 hertz. And we have the speed of the wave, we call that C, is equal to 60 cm per second. Now we equally have the speed of the source, the speed of the source, the speed of the source V S is equal to 20 cm per second. Now generally, generally we have the observed frequency F naught is equal to C plus or minus the speed of the observer divided by the speed of our wave plus or minus the speed of the source all this multiplied by the frequency of the wave now let's manage with the plus or minus sign in our situation, the observed frequency has to increase. Since the observed frequency has to increase, we have to manage with the numerator and the denominator. How can you make something increase when you have the numerator and the denominator? You can make something increase by increasing the numerator, so we can use a plus sign, and decreasing the denominator, we can use a negative sign in the denominator and a positive sign in the numerator. That is the way you can make something to increase. So here, the our formula in our situation becomes C 
the speed of the observer is zero, so we omit that over C minus V of S. All that F. So we substitute. Our speed of the wave, so it is 60 cm per second. There is no need to convert because the cm per second will cancel with cm per second. Divided by 60 minus 20. All this multiplied by 20 hertz. So you have 60 divided by 60 minus 20. 60 minus 20 gives us 40. So when you compute this carefully, you are going to have 30 as our answer, 30 hertz. 30 hertz. Now, if we look at the different choices that we have, we see that C is 30 hertz. So C is our correct answer. C is our correct answer. Okay, that was the passage I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your keen attention. However, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like it. You subscribe to my channel. Encourage your classmates, your friends to equally subscribe so that they can benefit from this vision so that they will have triumphant success in their June 2021 Cameroon GC Advanced Level Physics. Bye-bye.